Hi folks, back with another video. Um, today I'm going to test out the um, GPU and CPU um, uh, firmos uh, to see if it's throttling or not. So um, I'm going to give you some tips on uh, which programs to download, uh, which I'm doing for the first time here, um, and run some tests with you. So uh, what I have here is a iCore uh, 107. Uh, 10750 um, H CPU with six cores. Uh, the program I, uh, I'm downloading is, uh, well, I suggest you download is Cinebench um, R15.0 uh, uh, Tech Power Up GPU Z to monitor your GPU. Uh, and uh, I'm going to run. I right, can do it here. HW HW info. Okay. Uh, let's open up this application. Right. We want to uh, switch. Make sure sensors is checked on. And run. Okay. It comes up with this message. Uh, embedded. Controller sensor which can report data reading. I won't go for that, just click, click continue. Um, and there's something behind to do an update. I'll just close that. Um, okay, so normally you get one page. I think you can expand it by shrinking the window here. So uh, um, these buttons is to give you an expansive view of this window. Here, you, here on your right, okay. Uh, what well, you're looking under is CPU zero, and then you got uh, your CPU one is called core zero. Your last CPU is called core five. Uh, this this six CPU. Uh, you can see that the average megahertz is around eight, around eight uh, under eight hundred megahertz, and uh, the maximum is three thousand um, four hundred or five hundred. Uh, um and on this side if you can scroll what you're looking is for um under the sensors for his uh, the cpu thermal throttling if it says if it's uh, throttling or not this is indication if it's uh your cpu is throttling when you're running this test bench test um in uh tech power hub uh, what I like to see is this graph here. If you click on sensors, it gives you a GPU sensor. Uh, and it gives you a nice uh, graphic view there. All right, uh, I'm going to run this. This shouldn't take that long, so I'll just click run. Leave that running in the background. I'll show you the picture. You've seen it before. Um, and um, let's see what happens with this. So it's gone, gone up to... 2900 megahertz which is pretty good um there's some room to use you could go higher i think uh, maybe that's the limitation it does go over 3000 as uh, and the scope um gpu temperature is around 62 degrees that's pretty good uh CPU temperature 76, 77. Uh, so it does go hot. I'm touching the laptop now. It's not hot at all. Oh, it's a, a little bit warm in the middle of the keyboard, but not really, really hot. Um, the only thing I notice is when you're powering this laptop on the left hand side of this laptop, it's really hot. Maybe it's uh, try to do a rapid charge, and it's a lot of heat coming when you're powering up the laptop. So uh, just to let you know, and uh, um, yes, is it finished now? Uh, okay, that's complete. So our score was we're third in the list uh, of CPU ranks. Uh, Eight hundred eighty is rated our score in rankings. Um, to me, it doesn't matter what ranking is as long uh, as long as it works fast and this laptop works performs really good. Uh, the performance is excellent. 
So uh, there's no need to worry about that. It, for average user, um, it, it's okay for me. Uh, if you're doing um, heavy intensive work, uh, uh, gaming, uh, CAD and um, uh, engineering design uh, work like that, workflows like that, uh, uh, then uh, yeah, uh, it would, you'd, you'd be wanting the more performance and power uh, or the best CPUs in the laptop. But on average, great. Yeah, this is a great laptop uh, for uh, CPU on on the performance on the performance side. Um, hope you're happy, happy with that uh, and giving you some uh, good tips. Uh, see you later. Bye.